Oh my gosh, you guys. Ah. Okay, by now you should have seen like my videos and you should know how the past week, like Jax has been sick, he's in the hospital, all that kind of stuff. Like last week he was so excited to start preschool and then he couldn't and now today's his first day. Oh my God, it's it was way worse than I ever expected. Way worse, sorry about the lighting. Like it's not even, it's 8.30 in the morning. I dropped him off, I was gonna just go to Aldi but they don't open till nine. So I was like, okay, I just heard something on the radio about a Wendy's breakfast. So we're gonna try Wendy's breakfast for the first time. Oh my gosh, he woke up wanting no part of this day, not going to school, he wasn't going, crying like from the moment he got up. He lay down on his floor, he was like refusing to get up and get dressed, he was not having it. Came downstairs, he wanted no part of it. I'll try and remember to insert a picture of him holding his little sign for his first day of preschool. And then we're running late and then we go to take Allie to school and everybody under the sun wants to just sit there and hold up the whole line. So I made her, I'm like, I don't have time for this. I still have to drive 15 minutes to get him to school and his school starts in less than 15 minutes. So got Allie dropped off. So she has to be at school a half hour before it starts, before school starts for me to be able to get Jax to school by the time his starts. So I'm like, okay, go in the cafeteria. You just go in and have breakfast. She'll just have breakfast at school every day. Um, Go to get Jack's. We go to his school. He's fine the whole way there, laughing, singing. We're talking about Christmas songs. We get there. We go walking in. He's glued to me. We get in the line. Like there's, and as more and more kids got in their line with their parents until they open the doors for the classroom, uh, he's crying. He's crying. I'm starting to cry. And parents are like, "It's his first day." I'm like, "He wants no part of it." And they're like, "Oh, like this is my, this is my daughter. She's in your class, and he wanted no part of it." Then after all the other kids got in and it was his turn to go in, I, it was awful. He was full on sobbing. I literally had to pry him off of me and physically hand him to the teacher. We've never met the teacher. Like we've met the main lady over the whole program. We've never met any of the teachers and there's three. We've never stepped a foot in the classroom. So we don't even know what it looks like in there. The setup, nothing. So here I am after his past week, I'm handing him over to these people. I, we, that we've, him and I have never met into this room that he's never stepped a foot in. I'm like, I thought they'd at least let me go in. Like every other classroom like, my kids have been in for preschool, kindergarten, every grade, you get to go in and like see the classroom with your child. Not this situation. So like, and I knew that he had pictures on his chair. I'm like, Jackson, I'm like, do you gonna go in with your teacher and you're gonna look for your chair, look for a picture of you on a chair and that's your seat. I'm, when I say that broke my heart, he was literally kicking screaming i had to physically pick him up and hand him over to her his shirts clear up around his armpits because he, she's like trying to hold on to him he's kicking and screaming and just as i'm walking down the hall to leave i just hear him screaming it's like oh my god this is like when i left him in the hospital to get his ivs and everything so i was talking to the main lady i said if he's still like this i said can someone call me i'll just come get him and we'll try next week i'm like it's really been a long week for him and um, she said she'll check on Olivia. She said, she said, I'm sure you'll get like a good report when you pick him up this afternoon. If he is like absolutely over this whole situation, I'm just going to scratch it and we just won't go to school till kindergarten next year. Because I don't know what else to do. I cannot drop my kid off kicking and screaming. Like I said, it's been a rough week. I feel like it's just too much too soon. <laughs> So anyway, we're gonna try some Wendy's breakfast. So I got a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, which I'll just compare that to like McDonald's, because I've had theirs. I was gonna get a sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin, but I'm like, I'm not really in the mood for that. So I'm gonna try the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, and I got a honey butter chicken biscuit. I just heard on Elvis Duran, like they were talking about how good it is. Oh, she said she put syrup on hers, and I didn't get it. And then he said he loved the seasoned potatoes, so I gotta order the seasoned potatoes. I was gonna, I sat there at the window waiting for her to come back so I could get ketchup, and she never came back, so I'm just like, whatever. Mmm. Well, here's the seasoned potatoes. I'm joking. Mmm. These would have been way better with ketchup. Yum. These are really good. So well, here's those. Oh my god. I poor dude. 
I called Jay to tell him, and he's like, oh, he's like, poor dude. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, poor mom. This past week has just been so overwhelming, so emotionally draining. Like, all right, so first we're gonna try this chicken, honey butter chicken biscuit. So it's a piece of chicken on a biscuit. I'm assuming there's honey and butter on it. I don't think I've ever had chicken for breakfast, but let's try it. good. Mm. I can taste the honey on that bite. <clears throat> like the last two weeks, I'm like, okay, on his first day of school, I'm going to go drop him off and I'm going to get Waffle House. <laughs> really good piece of chicken on a biscuit with honey and butter it's actually really really good I like the lighting yum I've never had Wendy's breakfast. The only fast food breakfast I've ever had is McDonald's. I think, like, I think I used to get a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit from Burger King years ago. I want to try Taco Bell's breakfast. They had a breakfast baconator sandwich here at Wendy's. It said six slices of bacon, sausage, egg and cheese. I don't know. That sounds like a lot. you get Wendy's breakfast, like, what's your go-to? <clears throat> I really want to try Taco Bell. Like, the breakfast bread trap. Have you had that? Let me know how that is. So, this is the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Just most places, the bacon is, like, chewy. And I like it crispy. Let's see. That's good too. I'm going to be worried about Jack all day. It's always worse when the parents there, so I'm sure he's perfectly fine. <clears throat> We went over the menu last night, and for today for breakfast, he gets to have pancakes and strawberries, which he ate some muffins in the car, so he might not eat. Lunch is a ham sandwich and green beans, I think apricots and fruit, I mean apricots and milk. His after school snack is, I think it was graham crackers and a banana. Um, he's used to having the stuff he likes every day. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries every day. Today is just going to be a long day for him because, like I said, after being sick and everything he's went through for the past week, and now he's going to be there for over six hours. <clears throat> 
I know it'll be good for him. But oh my gosh. It was hard for me before he got sick, the thought of him going to school, because we're always together. But the past week, we've just been so... Like, we've slept on the couch. He sleeps at one end, I've slept on the other for literally the past week. So we've been more together the past week. He's never even met these people. Like, they should have let me and him go in and actually meet the teachers and see the classroom and, like, find his thing. Even if it wasn't, like, during school hours. Like, let us come in a little bit before or something. I asked the, one, the main lady while we were there last week if we could do that while we were there, signing papers. But the kids were having a nap. So we couldn't. I just feel like that wasn't a very good transition. Like here, we've never met these people. We've never stepped foot in this room. I'm just gonna drop you off at the door. I don't get to take you in to find your chair and like to welcome him in, like have his mom help him find his spot and let him show him, okay, here's the bathroom. If you have to go potty, you tell the teacher like nothing. Over it. But isn't that weird? I mean, if you have kids that were in school, like, did you ever just, like, didn't you always go in and, like, meet the teacher and see the classroom before you dropped your kid off to them? <laughs> like, that would be scary and awkward for any kid. <clears throat> well, alone one who'd just been sick and in two different hospitals in the past week, you know what I mean? But the teacher might know better, and maybe that's the best transition, just have the parent leave, because sometimes kids act worse when the parent's there, and just let her take him in. Hmm. I really hope he has a great day, and that he comes home so happy and loves school. I'm supposed to get up to 70 today? They go outside on the playground every day. And I get it. She's like, we can't make a big deal about this. I've got to get my your kid in here. I have a classroom. A whole class. But it's like, me walking him in would have been a lot more um, disruptive than literally passing a kid off at the door, kicking, or kicking and screaming. As I was leaving, I could hear him screaming. Like, as I was continue to walk down the hall like I really hope I hear from the main lady soon that he's okay and <sighs> parenting is hard Especially when you're a sensitive parent, like, I get it. This would be hard for a lot of parents. They just drop them off and go on about their day, but I'm not that parent. I'm the total opposite. I'm that parent that wants to know, okay, how does the day run? What's the schedule? How does it, like, what time do they eat? What time do they do this? What time is their nap? <laughs> I'd rather be the way I am than a nonchalant parent who doesn't really have a bond with their kid and doesn't feel like they're pain. You know what I mean? Our nurse at the hospital even told me, she's like, you are such a loving and caring mom. She's like, I think actually, I'm like that mom. I'm kind of too much. And she's like, no, you're not. She said, we'd much rather see parents like you the parents that just truly don't even care. <clears throat> I 
I prefer biscuits over English muffins. <clears throat> oh, they're all just so dry. Now I need to make my Thanksgiving meal plan because I'm hosting Thanksgiving like I have the last, I mean, I've been doing it the last so many years because my mom stopped doing it. This will be the second year of like my, my whole family over. Thanksgiving is a week from today. So I need to get on it. <laughs> I'm like 15 to 20 minutes from home, one direction. I need to go to Meyer. <clears throat> it's like 15 to 20 minutes from home, the other direction. Sorry, there's like over a half hour of driving time. But when I was at Meyer the other day with Jack, like he was just over. There was no way I was gonna get the groceries we needed, plus Thanksgiving stuff, with no list, with him in the cart. <clears throat> and with him not feeling, like, not back to him normal self. So maybe I'll run home, make a quick grocery list. All these smart people grabbing their Aldi bags. Not me. My cool bag is at home in the garage. I mainly only came here to get um, the extra fine green beans. Whitney always talks about them. And I got them once. And they're amazing. It's so weird. I'm not going to be feeding anybody breakfast or lunch. Except for on the weekends. I want to try and stay busy today. Because. If I go home and just try and relax. And just chill. I'm just going to be upset all day. So I think I'll run into Aldi. I should've just went back home and went to Aldi in Lima. But, oh well. Tried out a new breakfast. So I'll run in here and look around. I'll go home. Look, I have plenty of time today. It's been the longest day ever. If I get a picture or a message showing that he's having a great time, then I'll be fine. But until then, you guys know me. I'm gonna be. <laughs> mess the past week has been so much for me my eyes are still itchy I filmed a video last night it was my update my life uh, life update where I've been I was talking about how my eyes are so itchy I think it's allergies I take my allergy medicine um and like sleeping on the couch the past week where all of Adri's friends sit and they a lot of them have like cats and dogs there's probably pet dander and pet hair um what was I going to say? I don't know. I have no idea what I was saying. <clears throat> uh, I tried a new breakfast place. <coughs> I'll stop him. Wait a second. Once I see that he's doing good, which I'm sure he is, I'm sure he's perfectly fine and having a great time already, um, then I'll be fine. But I can't just sit and worry and wonder. So I'm going to go in here, get the groceries, a couple of groceries, go home, make my grocery list, 
I'm gonna probably go get my Thanksgiving stuff. All right, thanks for having breakfast with, breakfast with me. If I need to try breakfast food, look at his little backpack. He's not allowed to have a backpack because it's not, not all the kids are able to afford one, so they're not allowed to have backpacks. So we got this cool Spidey backpack when he was all excited for school. He has his little Spidey charm on it. And I got him this little dinosaur thing to hold his hand sanitizer. I told him, I said, it's okay, buddy. I said, I'll bring it with me every day when he gets to bring home a folder. So like when I go pick him up from school, I'll take his backpack up with me so he can put his folder in there and then wear his backpack home. He's so excited to have a backpack like his sisters. I've never heard him not being able to have a backpack. Like I get it that not everybody can afford it. This was $20. Like there was only like three options of backpacks. They're not cheap. Oh my God, this lady's gonna hit a telephone pole. She's looking down this old lady. All right, honey, watch what you're doing. He was so excited to have a backpack. With $20 for a backpack, I get it. A lot of people can't. Like, <laughs> I just thought that was strange. All right, I'm going to stop rambling and get in here so I can get back home. Oh, my gosh, this lady's making me nervous. She's, like, driving around, but she's looking down. She literally almost hit that light post. All right, hopefully I have a good update for you later. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> yeah, let me know if there's any fast food place I need to try breakfast from. Maybe one of these days I'll, it will get, maybe I'll get um, Waffle House and eat, um, eat that in my car for a video. I love their hash browns. Oh my God, they're so good with the cheese on them. <sighs> what a week. What a week. I have so much to do at home, but I have to get Thanksgiving stuff. And the sooner I have it, the better. Then that's one more worry off my mind with everything else going on. And I'm not trying to go do Thanksgiving grocery shopping on a weekend. And it's already Thursday. All right. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.